YouTube family, uh, back with another video today. How's it going? Uh, first, I just want to thank everybody for checking out the channel, subscribing um, to it. Uh, looks like we hit 100, 100 subscribers here not too long ago. So, again, thank everyone out there for uh, checking out the videos and supporting what I got going on. Um, as always, of course, I'm not going to tell you to... Uh, just comment on the video. Just comment. I would like to tell everybody if you are working on a video uh, on the channel and you want people to check it out, feel free to comment um, on below uh, so I can check it out. Or if I'm already checking out, hopefully someone else will come show you some support and come check out your channel. All right, so let's let's uh, dive into what we're going to be discussing today. So I want to talk about um, some Mopar news. Um, there's been a picture that a, that looks like Mopar has shared that shows. They have two cars that uh, that they have covered up. This is at um, looks like at their SEMA display. Uh, so it looks like one of the pictures that they have is going to be a Challenger of some sort, and the other picture appears to be some sort of older model Dodge Ram or something like that. It's hard to tell, but it seems like an older model um, Dodge truck that uh, that may be possibly modified or something like that. So. I've been seeing this picture posted in several uh, Mopar related groups that I'm that I'm a part of, and the speculation is that what is going to happen is that they're going to unveil a new Challenger at uh, that Mopar is going to unveil a new Challenger at their SEMA. Um, I guess it's, I guess you can call it a press conference or a press release or whatever you want to call it um, on Monday or is it Tuesday? One of those days at 4:26. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So, uh, my thought on that is, based on track record, and I'm gonna give you some of the, the details behind why I think this way. That we we all we're all excited for Dodge to release a new Challenger. There's been multiple reports that that's gonna happen, but I'm here to kind of to say, well, I'm here to say that this ain't it. Mo there's not gonna be a new Challenger announced or released at this press release or press conference, whatever you want to call it, or their, I don't know what, what, they, what they typically call it, but th that's not going to happen whenever they do this reveal at 426. Uh, I think it's tomorrow, I think Monday, Tuesday, whatever. We're not going to discuss the date, but it's coming up soon. So here are, this is kind of why I think that. So the reason why I think that this is not going to be a new car release, let's first think about what SEMA is. So SEMA is pretty much a really, really big and famous trade show. And by trade show, that means the people that are at this show are people that have some sort of connection to the automotive uh, industry, such as parts, services, whatever you think of, you name it. If you buy aftermarket part, more than likely the person that owns that company is probably there. If you if you have someone that you go to for to get your car tuned or get any kind of performance models added to it, more than likely that person is going to be at SEMA um, or they have the capabilities of going to it. And for SEMA, uh, and this is something I looked at a long time ago. I heard about it before. But the only way you can get to SEMA is to show that you actually have some sort of connections to the automotive industry. Like you have to pretty much submit tax documents to show that you own a business or something that contributes to the automotive industry, um, period. So if you are a consumer more like me and you have a regular nine to five job or something of that nature, uh, more than likely you're not just going to SEMA to check out stuff. I would love to go to SEMA personally, but only way I'm going is someone invites me to go with them. So if you're going to SEMA, um, at some point, maybe next year or in the future, I want to go, let me know. Um, I take some pretty decent pictures, so let me know if you're going, but the main thing I'm saying, SEMA is not a car show. It is a trade show where people show what products and services that they have and other people that are in the industry come checking out and to see if that's something, you know, they want to add to their business or what have you. And a lot of car manufacturers are there, but they're not there to promote their cars. They're, prom they're more so there to promote their products and their services that they offer. And so that's why I feel like that's one of the reasons why I feel like this is won't be a new car reveal, but more so Mopar is just going to reveal maybe a new part or a new service. Um, and I get and, and I hop into some more details on. That. So as we're talking about, like, why there's no new car coming at SEMA, one thing we have to kind of think back is how Dodge operates. <clears throat> 
So Dodge, as everyone knows, that they if they got something new coming out, they will hype they will hype it up. They, they will release videos. They will release things on their social media platforms and say, hey, we got something new coming 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 up. Be ready for it. And stuff like that. And Dodge hasn't Dodge itself has not did anything of that nature whatsoever. If you check out any of their social media, there's nothing that shows they got something big coming out. I'm the, there's a lot of reports that they're working on stuff, but there's nothing on their social media that says, hey, we got something big coming out. Be ready for it. If we want to take it a step further and say, well, last year they came out with the 426 Elephant, you know, that is true. They, they did release the, that engine last year, but you have to think back. That was more so on Mopar doing the advertisement and letting you know that it's coming. That was not Dodge advertising that this is coming. And when Mopar advertised this engine, they advertised it because they didn't have a 426 supercharged engine for you to buy and this was something new that was bringing out to the public and what they did was they did release two videos i think if i'm not mistaken two videos teasing that they they have something big coming up and this year they haven't done that there has there has not been any like advertisement or tease or teaser videos or teaser pictures that say we got something big coming up yes they did have that that picture uh, that they posted a couple of days ago saying they're at SEMA and they have they're going to release they're going to have their like press release conference, whatever, um, at 426 in a couple of days, but they didn't really hint at something brand new coming, which we know how they operate. If they got something new coming, they will let you know, and you will know something new's coming. They haven't done that at all. So with the lack of promotion that's been done around what they got to unveil, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, they had a challenger there. They had, they, they're gonna show us something and you're right, they will show us something. But my thought is they're not going to show us anything new. I will say this, like they will have a highly customized car that somebody built and put together featuring whatever new product that they're about to allow us to have. Um, and honestly, I don't think it's going to be a new product. I think they're just going to make something that wasn't available to us before available now. And this is what I'm thinking in that standpoint. So if you think last year uh, when they released the the Elephant engine, they had a, a Dodge Charger that had that was completely overhauled with the Elephant engine in it to showcase the new engine. I think this year what they will have, and this is just speculation. Where I think they're going what, what's going to be the biggest thing they're going to release. I think they're going to release a red eye crate engine and this is why i think a red eye crate engine first thing is because if you go on the mopar website you can buy a crate engine you can buy a 5.7 liter crate engine they released the elephant crate engine you can actually at one point i think or you may still can buy a hellcat crate engine or a 6.4 liter crate engine so you can go to that website and buy a crate engine and the reason they really aren't hyping up that this is going to be what this is the direction they're going in is because the red eye engine is already out there it's already something that they have they just not have have they just haven't made it available for us to purchase well not us i'm not buying the red uh, engine i want a whole car i don't i'm not buying the engine but if you are buying a red eye engine then they make it available for you to go out and purchase and if you want to purchase one for me, I will take it. I won't. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll take it. I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna turn it down or anything. Um, but that's what I'm thinking. That like, like it's not gonna be anything new. It's just gonna be something they already have that they're just making available for people to purchase. And the Challenger that and I, actually I'm gonna say this. I think that Red Eye engine. Well, I'm thinking they could be showing. It's going to be in that old Dodge truck that they have covered up. Now, if we jump to the Challenger, there's been a lot of speculations on what that could be. They, it, a lot of people think that's going to be the new ACR Challenger that they're supposed to be working on, the new Cuda or whatever. I'm not sold on that right now. Um, just kind of looking at what we are able to see from that photo. It looks like it has a Hellcat style hood. Um, you can see kind of you can see the middle scoop. You can see the, the side vents on the hood. It also has hood pins um, if, And also on the front of the car you can see like it has like a Hellcat style front splitter um, 
only th other thing I can really notice is that it didn't have like the side mirrors for whatever reason. Maybe that they were folded in or something. I don't know. Maybe that's part of what they're bringing out. But they could be releasing maybe some other aftermarket parts for Challengers, which could, which I feel like is more in line with what they could be doing in this standpoint. If Dodge was going to release something and they want to have a big, like, want to create some hype around it, they wouldn't do it in a at a Mopar release or whatever because Mopar is pretty much the umbrella for Dodge, Ram, Jeep, Chrysler. It, it, it doesn't, it's not particularly tailored to just Dodge or whatever. Dodge would, would do their own thing and release and talk about what they want to talk about as far as what they had coming out new. So as far as that challenge is concerned, I'm not sure what it would be. I think it's maybe some new aftermarket parts possibly they could tease us with a concept challenger to, just to say oh this is what we could do or whatnot but I, i'm not sure if there's going to be a new car that actually will be going into production just yet i'm just not sold on that so let me know what you think about that uh i could be completely wrong they could they could just shock everybody and come out with something new and you guys will be like, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. Told you so. Told you it's going to be the new Coda. Yeah, 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 that, that is true. But I don't think it's going to happen, not yet. There's going to be something new that they're going to launch, but not a new car, not yet. So let me know what you think. Comment down below uh, what ideas you have. Let me know if you think I sound crazy or if that makes sense. Because um, in my head, that makes sense. It may not make sense or... You may not think the same way. If you disagree, let me know too. Um, um, if you do have a channel that you are working on, trying to get out there, trying to get exposure to, feel free to drop it in the comments below so I can check it out or someone else that's checking out the video, they can check it out as well. That's all I got for you today. Peace.